Ramble69, type nice in the comments right now and then click the like button. For this ramble, I'm going to be talking about a few different things. Uh, it's getting really close to the end of the year, which is just fucking weird. That's going to be 2022 and just literally less than two weeks. That's insane. Um, I'm going to have a little Christmas celebration. So what day is that even? Okay, Christmas is a Saturday. So on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, I will be doing a long stream, probably 12 hours. I'll see if, you know, maybe I'll do like an extension thing if, I don't know. Anyway, but um, it will be the Sebe Award Ceremony. So as uh, tradition will have it, I do uh, a little award ceremony <laughs> based on, I don't fucking know, just random shit I make up. Basically, I give awards out to some of my viewers that are just, you know really wholesome or really funny or really like like I don't know my worst viewer I'll give them a, uh, an award or something but anyway um I will also be doing some little things during that stream so one of them will be I'll open my crystal keys which I'm trying to save up some fucking shards for you know what I'm, I'm thieving these right now but I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about it's not anything crazy by any means but we will be opening my brimstone keys I might have a few more by that time um, I'm trying to save up enough crystal shards to open all of these bad boys. So I will have, you know what my plan will be actually, I think I'm going to open 300 keys. I won't actually have 300, but you get shards and keys back as you open that chest. So we'll just plan for like, th or you know what I'll do? Let me actually just really quickly go see during this little ramble right now what how many chests i've opened and i'll just we'll like end on a clean number that's somewhere around what i have um i'll also open i'll i will also jesus i can't speak uh okay 683 so you know what let's open it 317 times how about that guys we ended exactly a thousand that would be fucking clean we'll definitely get enough keys to to make that happen i just got to do a lot of thieving if i don't have all the shards then we're gonna have to spend some of that christmas stream thieving some uh uh, those elves anyway but i'll try to get it all done before then so 317 that's what we're gonna go for thousand crystal chests in case you didn't know these are the two pieces i have so far very eh, it's pretty spoon i got them both before 500 so anyway i don't expect to get anything in fact i shouldn't even get a third piece until 1500 if like you know if it all worked out um i'll also be opening yeah so the brimstone keys hopefully we get another dust on another dupe fucking glove um i'll be I don't know. I'll probably just send these fucking totems one. I have three. It's not even that crazy. Um, we'll probably open. I don't know. I kind of want to save up the grab because we could probably open those though. But also the bird eggs. So those are mainly the three things I want to open. It's again, it's not anything crazy. But if you guys want to be there for it on the live opening, feel free to come Saturday. I'll be live for twelve hours. So it'll probably be like just any time on Saturday. You can just pop into my stream. Um, yeah. So Merry Christmas, everybody look forward to that stream hopefully i can see at least a few of you just pop in say merry christmas or something the other thing i want to talk about is i will be taking a sponsorship yes i know okay listen guys before you guys just leave the video right now because you're like wow this dumbass is talking about a stream again fucking stealing money from us it'll move on i, I have some other juicy topics to talk about but i just had to clear clear this shit out of the way i will be taking a sponsorship so if you guys want to support you can download this new game. It's like some Star Trek <laughs> fucking game. So if you guys are obsessed with Star Trek, you can help me out. Um, and uh, I'm just taking it because like it's a little bit of extra money. I can uh, actually afford a nice present for my parents. I love my parents. And uh, I think <laughs> I've never been able to get them anything nice. So I think it'll be kind of nice to just buy them something that's cool. So I'll, I'll use a little bit of the money for that. I'm not saying that. All, all what it's gonna go to it'll go to me a lot of it so anyway i'm gonna do it for fun just right before christmas um so that'll probably be on tuesday evening i'll start that little campaign thing anyway enough about that let's talk about okay well, i got a but i actually wrote notes by the way so i actually have a few bullet points i want to cover um one of the things is bank space so first thing i want to talk about is bank space i have Still in my mind, I still want to buy the full 1,200 bank spaces. It's going to cost an additional 870 mil. I do want to buy it. I'm just waiting. I also don't have the cash, clearly. But if I sent all of these Addy... I've actually started making some, actually. 
um, if I sent all these Addy bars and then I like smelted all this shit down, made a bunch of jewelry with these gems, I could get the money. I'm not too worried about it right now because I don't want to like right now, let's just say theoretically I had the money. I still wouldn't get the bank spaces right now. If like I, if I had 900 mil right now, I wouldn't get it simply because I don't know for certain if they're going to let death's coffer pay for it. So I'm a little apprehensive about doing it. So I'm just going to chill for probably a couple months i'll as soon as i get the money it'll probably be like two months from now because i'm really not even rushing it at this point because i'm still just waiting to see what reddit thinks about you know death's coffer and shit doesn't look like they're gonna change anything but i just want to be certain i don't want to do anything rash so i will eventually get 1200 by the first half of this next year you know 2022 before uh july i mean hopefully by you know march or something i'll have it but that's the uh, plan for right now. So just wanted to cover that real quick. The other thing that I want to cover is the Dorgishkan Light Orb. Little video that I made. You know, okay, by the way, um, I just need to quickly show you. This quick ecumenical keys guy got seven fucking thousand views. Bruh, I should have just fucking muted the video. That's some that's some damn good profit from for me but it has a copyrighted <laughs> song in it and of course the video is just getting fucking recommended to every goddamn person Seven thousand is a lot for me by the way as you can kind of see my, 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 my bank video that everyone was fucking hyped for didn't even get that much and this is literally two days like this will probably be at eleven thousand in two days i swear to god it probably will because it'll keep getting recommended a little unfortunate but um i'm glad you guys like this a lot of positive feedback this video um this is Jesus Christ, my voice is so annoying. I don't know how you guys watch me. It got a lot of cool like comments and a lot of good feedback, but there was some feedback, and I sometimes I don't take criticism too uh, well when I think I'm right. But you know, I had some good criticism from some uh, high level Iron Men. I was in Fat Cloud stream. They're just bringing up some stuff, and it's totally fair. Like it's completely fair. I don't exactly know how it works out because a lot of like EHP rates. Um, by the way, I will, uh, you guys should really watch this. This is just a little suggestion of like how to basically, I'll just mute it real quick and just kind of like play it in the background, but <laughs> fucking, I got to fucking pause my alerts. I apologize. I probably yelled louder than that alert. Dude, this is, this pisses me off. It literally is on pause, but because the application wasn't open, it, it doesn't pause it anyway. So thank you. Is this really YouTube for the, uh, subscription? That was two minutes ago. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, about this little guide, uh, or about this little suggestion, there can be tweaks made. I think the biggest thing was that the XP rates were too high, which I can kind of agree. I'm, I'm recommending. So like right here, right here, you see, um, a thousand fire making XP. My suggestion is to make it 500 crafting XP and no fire making XP. That might be a bit too high. The, my argument, and again, I could be wrong, but my argument is like, there is so much more to just there's so much more to just running around this fucking place fixing lamps like you have to thieve the wires in the first place which is under ehp rates and again people are making like oh you can just blow glass during all of this pretty much what i'm trying to get at is xp rates can be changed that's totally fair um this was just my little suggestion 500 might have been a bit too high and i mean it probably is if you didn't do any other like skilling in between these like running around fixing lamps and like thieving the wires and shit like that. Yeah, like you could, these rates are acceptable. But if people are going to sweat, these rates might be a bit too high, which is totally fair. This is just an idea. I try to make it just as simple as possible. It's literally a th three and a half minute video. So it's like, try to just get out the basics and just prove my point. Kind of like, I, I want this to come into the game. But it feels like the majority of you don't actually have a problem with the method. It's just the XP rates may be a bit too high, which is totally cool. Some J mods on Twitter liked it. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, they're apparently, in fact, I have the Gillenor Gazette pulled up. Apparently they want to do some uh, like skilling updates in June. So who knows? Again, I'm not obsessed with this idea. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh my God, like you want all this shit to come into the game. I don't really fucking care if it doesn't come into the game. I just, I like these kind of little things that are really easy to make that make sense this update would make sense to crafting. Like everybody fucking makes these light orbs because the best XP and then there's nothing to fucking do with them. So like, why not give something that 
lets you be able to do it anyway. So uh, there was a, oh, I guess it was just this image. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Skilling update. Anyway, I also want to talk about Guardians of Gilinor. That's another little bullet point. So while we're here, I'll just talk about it. So Guardians of Gilinor will be coming out. Let me get back to my little thieving spot real quick while I do this. Even though I'm going to be inefficient as fuck, but yeah. Um, Guardians of Gilinor is coming out, which is a new room crafting mini game that they were kind of proposed, or not really proposing, but just kind of, it was like an ideation last year. Um, I guess it was like this year, like the very beginning of this year, I want to say. But it's a new room crafting mini game. It'll give you access to the Colossal Pouch, which holds 27 Essence, which can only be used exclusively so like you couldn't use the colossal pouch and the other four pouches you could only just use the colossal pouch which i think basically what it does is like it fuses the other four is th that's what my guess would be like you have to fuse the other four and then that makes the colossal so you can't actually get any other pouches who knows uh, but that's basically what they've said initially but then again they also said thralls could only be cast with the fucking book of the dead so my fucking guess is they're gonna let you like combine <laughs> they're gonna let you use all the pouches or some weird shit who knows? We'll see. Um, they're also coming out with the Blood Talisman and the Rune Crafting Outfit. So the Rune Crafting Outfit will give extra runes rather than extra XP, which most skilling outfits do. This will be giving extra runes, which is a really cool idea. And I know, which is, it's just interesting that Jagex is, has always just been so extremely cautious with RC rates. It is really interesting because most skills, you know, they kind of just do whatever the fuck they want with. But RC has been very, like... They've been very cautious with uh, changing rates too much, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, the True Blood Talisman is going to come out, which means that uh, you'll be able to access the True Blood Altar. You know what's really weird is like the Max Cape, or the Rune Crafting Cape, I should say, which is, you know, the, the Max Cape also has that perk, is like it axes every talisman. But <laughs> yeah, like that's not going to be the case unless you like access that talisman, I guess, but... Yeah, little side tangent. Anyway, but um, it's going to come out. I'm really looking forward to... What the... F are these white day alt? I just noticed this. What the hell is this? Winter themed. Breath mints. No. Um, I'm excited. I'm just going to zoom it out all the way so you can see the little borders. I like the borders. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm really hoping that they just nail it with this update. Make it so the minigame's not too crazy powerful. I don't want it to become the meta. I just want it to give out these nice perks so that you can train traditional rune crafting and be better rewarded for it. I really am hoping that the new blood altar is just fucking dope. Just everyone's doing it. Rune crafting's profitable as hell. You know, like... People actually want to go runecraft their runes instead of just fucking buying them. There's got to be... I'm going to have a complete other ramble of, like, my just... I can't say hatred because I don't hate it. But I'm really just opposed to Shopscape. It's, it's just... It's really dumb. It, I mean, Iron Man are the only ones that really use it. Mains clearly just have the GE. But, bro, Iron Man was supposed to be a self-sufficient game mode where you're not... You don't have the fucking option to use the GE or trade people. You store. I mean, you can always use stores, but stores were never supposed to be a thing. Like you're, you're supposed to just craft your own shit, you know, make your own things, do this. And then like PVM drop tables are absolutely out of control. Uh, you buy all your fucking blood runes. Blood runes are an extreme necessity. Now it is, it appears for every Iron Man now, because every Iron Man's a PVMer and, Anyway, I'm just going on a bunch of tangents. It's like literally 3 a.m. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but um, I just really hope they nail it with this update. Really excited for it. It's going to be cool. It's coming out in March, I believe. So March, which means June of 2023, let's just be honest. Now, hopefully it comes out in March. I, I, I expect that Jagex... I don't know. I kind of feel like Jagex understands that they're, they've are they been delaying a lot of shit and not coming out with content a lot. Which, you know, there, there's a, its own reasons for that and everything. You know, it, it takes time to provide quality content and stuff. But I feel like this year they're really going to try to stick to their schedule. I At least I fucking hope. Who's, who knows? 
Um. Anyway, look. Also looking forward to Raids Three. That's supposed to be. Wait. Huh? Is this what they're wor? Wait. Is Tombs of a Masket coming out in fucking April? Why doesn't it say it down here? Is that just because they're just saying this, this quest? I thought Tombs of a Masket was coming out in the summer, like July or August even. Anyway, you guys all have to let me know. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is Nex and Leagues 3. So as I've probably previously mentioned... I will be camping next fucking hard. I also want to make some videos on it. I, I want to just like day one fucking grind the hell out of it. Day two, grind the hell out of it. Day three, grind the hell out of it. And then make a video, uh, just a montage of all the drops I saw. You know, just just some exciting, compact video. No more than 10 minutes. Just boom, 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 boom. This is my thoughts on it. This is the drops I saw. I know Bodhi made a similar kind of video. He didn't actually fucking see any drops, but... He would show, like, the end of a kill. And it was just really cool because it's, like, new content. You just want to see what people are getting and stuff. So, I really do want to do that. Uh, Leagues 3, again, if Nex isn't fun or I'm not totally loving it after two weeks, then I'll just do some fucking Leagues 3. I've never done Leagues. I feel like I really would learn a lot. Have some fucking input to... <laughs> to sh or what am I trying to say? Have something to share, basically. Like, when I have guests on the Save Cast and they start talking about leagues, I'm like, dude, all I did was watch it. I didn't actually play it. I have no fucking idea about it. So, I really do need to just try it. Uh, but if I'm enjoying Nex, I will not be doing it. So, just keep that in mind. If Nex is just an absolute blast, I, I don't think I'll even spend the time. It, it, like, if I'm missing Nex drops. Who knows? I might just spoon the place. Doubt it, but... <clears throat> so... Yeah, um, that'd be kind of cool to see whatever, whatever happens. Um, the other thing I want to mention is the YouTube poll. So let me just go quickly over here. I made a little poll and I said, what is your favorite content I put out? This has actually changed. It was 34, 33, 33. It's still very much fucking even. But this is 928 votes and it's dead goddamn even I, I don't know if like some of you were just like trying to keep it even or if this is just like straight up what it is because uh yeah what the fuck <laughs> that's actually very surprising i was you know what i was expecting real talk i was expecting boss skilling guides to be like 50 rambles to be like 40 and save has to be like 10 well maybe not that but like i was thinking save cast was gonna be the absolute lowest because it's a long form podcast generally people aren't into just sitting down and listening to some dumbass talk for you know four hours with a you know a guest and stuff but like i don't know it's i i didn't mean that dumbass is like i guess i, I meant the dumbass is me and i'm you know interviewing people I, I didn't mean to be offensive or anything right there but yeah i was actually pleasantly surprised that a lot of you just like all my content so um this kind of leads me into the second thing I want to mention about this content stuff. Next year, 2022, I want to kind of shake things up a little bit. So I'm going to let you guys let me know in the comments. I'm going to let you guys let me know. No, you guys can let me know in the comments if you want to or not. I'm not going to allow you to. You're, you're granted permission. Anyway, um, I kind of want to do like progress videos. That's something I don't really do much. So, like, right now, I'm, like, fucking Thieving Elves about to die. And it would be kind of cool if, you know, I just made a compilation of random shit I'm doing in the game off stream. Or even and even on stream. I just record everything. Because one thing I really lack as a content creator is, be, is just recording stuff that I do when I'm playing. I never fucking record when I'm playing. Except if I'm, like, recording a guide or recording just a ramble or something. But... I don't just record all my gameplay and then find the cool stuff and compile it all together and make a progress vid. But I kind of want to start doing that if you guys are down because uh, I do a lot of things that aren't really seen. And, like I gain XP every fucking day. Like I'm, I'm clearly I play a lot and I, I feel like people don't really know what I'm up to and they just kind of see like the main things. Like people think, oh, Sabe is doing corp. Uh, yeah on stream but like off stream i'm doing so many other things doing birdhouse runs herb runs random shit doing skilling trying to get my 
fucking GP through skilling, thieving stuff to get some shards, you know. Little teeny things like, you know, getting a little enhanced crystal seed pickpock would be kind of cool. And just compile a month's worth of random clips and put it together for, you know, a 10-minute video. Something like that. Let me know what you guys think about that. The other thing, my other idea is I'm getting better at editing. I am still dog shit at it. I know it. And it's very basic and it's very clear when it's a Sebe edited video. <laughs> it's like, you know, everything has that fucking RuneScape font and nothing's really the editing shit and everything. Anyway, but I, I think I could actually improve. And I think a good way to improve would actually be to make a new series. Just a series. I've never made a series. Literally, my content is Sebecast, Rambles, and Boss Guys. Just the most basic thing. So, I'm kind of tempted to make a little series. And I don't know what you guys would want to see. I fucking love RuneScape. I just am really obsessed with this account. But what if, you know, what if I s took like a little side project and just exclusively made it YouTube content? Like, I don't stream it ever. But I just make a little series, a brand new account or something. Like I, <laughs> I can't promise I'd go hard on it, and I can't even promise that I, that I won't quit the account. But, um, who knows? Maybe if the fucking little series goes well, I could just keep it up and just have a, like a little side project, something to keep you guys entertained. I want it to be something unique though. So if you guys have any cool ideas, feel free to like DM me. Post it in the comments if you just want to share it. But. If it's seriously a really cool idea, you don't want anybody else to like fucking take it or something, just let me know and privately or something. But it's something I've been kind of thinking about. I don't know if I would really love it because I've never done it. I, I really don't know if I'd love it. I am very obsessed with playing one account, but at the same time, you know, why not expand the horizons a little bit? Just do a side project, not taking over this account or anything, but just something on the side. Let me know because uh, it's 2022 coming up. There's a lot of potential for things I could be improving on or doing something different or making something new entirely. So anyway, tomorrow I'll be recording the Sebe cast with Puggin. If you guys didn't know, yes, um, I'm very excited because uh, Puggin is just an awesome guy, just very talented runescaper and just... I've been watching Puggin for, I don't even know how long, three years, at least, like three and a half years probably, so it's pretty cool to just like get to sit down and talk with him, and I think it'll just be a nice experience, because, uh, I don't know, I just gotta say, it's a cool experience being in my shoes, being able to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one that the majority of people just get to see like in a stream or something, and I get to just like get down to you know occasionally more to like a personal level some casts obviously we just talk about runescape but i feel like this one will kind of go into the more personal stuff and i think it's just cool so really looking forward to that uh i was in skiddler's stream when was that yeah two days ago? yesterday two days? i don't fucking know but i was a little uh I'll just maybe a little bit baked, but anyway, I was just in there talking, like chatting shit. I don't even know what I chatted, but everyone started laughing at something. <laughs> I would swear to God, I don't even fucking remember what happened. But anyway, what I recall is that Skiddler was down to be on the Sebe cast. And he basically was like, yeah, like I'd like to be on it if you invite me. So who knows? Maybe I'll get Skiddler on the cast. And I think we got a lot to talk about just I don't I don't know Skiddler really like I you know I, I pop in a stream here and there but like I think he's a cool dude and I think we'd actually just fucking have a fun ass time talking uh so I, I might be getting Skiddler on soon I'm gonna ask him um I will leak a few people that I'm trying to get on so Behemoth is one guest that I'm trying to get on next year I've in I'm in a DM with Roydy so Roydy might be coming on the cast as well next year like early next year uh there's some other guests that i haven't quite asked yet or like i'm not, I'm not really sure if they're, they're willing to be on it but i think there's going to be a lot of really cool guests coming on for next year so hope you guys are looking forward to it there will be some other guests that aren't streamers or youtubers as well so some interesting guests that you guys probably haven't heard of let me know as well just dm me guys if you guys want to 
give suggestions on who to bring on. I listen to all your guys' suggestions. Just keep in mind, I generally only do one guest a week, so it takes a long time. I literally have a list in front of my eyes right now. There is 48 people. I counted them. There's 48 people that I want to have on the cast. You know how many? Like, that literally fills up my entire year of people that I kind of want on. And, and some of those names are people that you guys have mentioned. So, like, people are like, wow, why haven't you gotten this guy on? Why haven't you got this? I was like, there, it will come. It will come. I just, I can't have everybody on in, like, you know, a short span of time. So, let me, guys, let, let me know, guys, who you guys want on. And, uh, yeah. I'm just really looking forward to the guests. Let's see. Here, let me just do a birdhouse run real quick while I... Look at my notes real quick. So, let me uh, try to think. I don't know why I just drank those. Whatever. A little out of it. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the thing I was going to mention. Some people have been asking, like, show your bank tag layouts. Show, you know, how you gear up and shit for certain things. Like, bruh. By the way, I'm going to be coming out with a KQ video soon. This KQ setup is fucking just... It's fucking dope. Like, it's it's fun. It's made, key, it's made KQ a, a, a ton of fun. So I might actually come out with a KQ. Probably won't be a guide. It'll probably just be an hour of just fucking doing stuff. But I don't know. I could make a guide. But, like, people have problems with my guides, I feel like. A lot of people are like, bruh, you're maxed. Why the, Like, why are you doing this shit in a max cape like oh my god like i'm not going to downgrade my guide like i'm sorry like hello to oh let's click an f2 um i'm not gonna downgrade my guide. like i understand nobody <laughs> the majority of people aren't gonna be using this guide when they're max but my guide it's a sebe guide it's an efficient guide it's gonna be using the best stuff that i have which is oh all right that's more for a christmas day i guess hell fucking yeah um two fucking eggs in one one thing beautiful um yeah but I, th those are what my guys are gonna be i'm not gonna have like oh if you don't have this gear use this gear if you don't have this use this gear use this gear because i i can't be fucking asked to do that first of all so i'm sorry i hope though that you know you guys that aren't maxed or don't quite have the gear or something like that can just understand like what you need to replace the thing that you don't have and stuff so anyway my guides will always kind of be like that they'll always just be like extremely efficient and just based on like having everything so like even my corp guide was like assuming inquisitors and mahogany homes guide was assuming a maxi but like the maxi is very irrelevant but i don't know just things like that so um yeah, but one of the things I wanted to share was my clue setup. This is not good right now. This is like my old setup that's just kind of like just has random ass items in there now, which isn't good. By the way, Christ, I was not supposed to get rid of every insult out. I got to get some more of those for that master set. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a messy right now. But I am going, I swear to God, I'm going to make the greatest clue Bible, basically. I think Rice Cup used that term actually in his like PVM Bible video guide thing, but it'll be the clue Bible basically. It'll 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 only be the most efficient. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking say, oh, if you're only level this or you don't have these things, you can use this. No, I'm just gonna be like the best of the best shit, the best layout, the best way to do every step, best way best way to save some ticks here and there for every single step that's like, you know, necessary. I'm so fucking excited to make it. But I swear to God, I can't make it until I get rid of these goddamn normal Slayer rings. I swear, that's the one thing that's holding me back. It's so fucking sad, but I need an Eternal Gem before I can make it. Because it won't be the best unless I have a goddamn Eternal fucking Gem. Anyway, so I know you guys are like, just make the goddamn guide. Quit caring about this, but I do care. And my envisioned layout doesn't include two Slayer ring <laughs> slots. Anyway, I know I'm just fucking rambling about stuff right now but anyway i'm really excited to make it i really hope i can make it within like the first couple months of 2022 or start on it i'm gonna have certain guys that one will be like hards one will be elites and one will be masters and uh there also won't just be one 
layout. This I found, and again, this goes, there's a lot of testing that goes along with this. So one thing is like I tested one bang tag layout with all the clue stuff. I don't like it because I don't like scrolling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have multiple, probably four. I'll probably have like hard, elite, master, and then like all where like there's like one that has like all of it. But I want to make it just like, and I might not even do that. I might make it like Sherlock steps, fallow steps, fucking, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to make it, but it takes a lot of trial and error. So like, it's going to take a lot of time. I want to just nail it. I want it to be my best ever guides just that I've made. I know I haven't made many, but I want it to be the fucking best. And I'm going to take, I'm going to put my heart and soul into it. I'm going to put a lot of time into it, but I just, oh, that eternal gem just bothering me. So, uh, and then we got next coming out and focused on corp and I haven't even been able to do Slayer that often because I keep having fucking KQ tasks all the goddamn time and I can't skip that because I gotta get the jar of sand. Anyway, a lot of shit, a lot of rambling. I know I'm just kind of talking. Um, anyway, I'll just probably end it around here. Uh, yeah, I usually like ask a question to you guys like, what are you guys up to or anything? But just let me know whatever. I, I know I've asked a few different questions in the uh in the video for you guys to answer in the comments so let me know just whatever um thank you guys for listening merry christmas it's best fucking time of the year it's december 20th currently and it's it's weird because like christmas isn't really the same anymore but i still i don't know it's like something about like december like when it gets to like those later days like the 20th it's like oh geez like this is just giving me those cozy vibes you know i went to the uh we went to spider-man tonight so i got home really late but we watched the new spider-man really good by the way i recommend it and i'm not even a fan of superhero movies and i still loved it but we went to like we stopped off at the gas station to buy like a snack and a, and a drink to sneak into the movie theaters you know by the way like we fucking paid 15 dollars to go see this goddamn movie at amc and they didn't even check our ticket like there was nobody there we just literally walked in and watched the movie i was, I was seriously pissed that i even paid the money because we didn't show anybody that we even paid for it that's besides the point we went to the little gas station to get some stuff and just the cashier just says merry christmas is wearing a little christmas sweater my like, god like i kind of miss like going out and just saying merry christmas to people and just I don't know, hanging out with IRL friends, but I got you guys, my virtual friends. I'm not actually seeing any family this year, but I have been calling my family and stuff and just trying to, you know, I guess kind of connect with them in, in the way I can. I don't actually live with any family besides my older brother right now. So say hi to your family for, or not for me, but say hi, say hi to your family because it's Christmas time if you haven't called them in a while. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. And I'll catch you guys in Ramble 70 next time. Peace.